Yeah, Minecraft Bedrock Edition, awesome! I love Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and then we only my character. Let's turn off uh, enough of that little turn rambling on. Let's get into this. Oh! So, I'm gonna make a Skyguard video. I'm gonna make a Skyguard video, so. Let's just go into. This is my. This is my Farlands Adventure World, and it takes up. Yeah, this world. This. My shut up back there world is just a huge thing. I know. 80, 80 and a half megabytes of memory. That's beast. Dire, do you ever leather it of hate? Leather, leather it or hate it? What? Matchbox is one of the worst who has worse sting, skins, text up, and new music. Enough of. There are 3,587 types of tropical fish. That is just a lot. How so? Why so many? Okay. Let's start the Sky Good video. So, yeah. Ever heard of the Furlands? Anyways, let's just go to the first summit off camera. Okay, so I met. So I met the first threshold of Minecraft Bedrock Edition world. A little tiny jitter can be noticed at this point. What's going on? What is what is going on? What was Okay, so my Okay, so Minecraft is working normally again. Ooh, what was that black screen about? But I'll see to the fix I just I just went to put the app in the background and put the application in the background and then then ran it again. That limited this threshold that I'm at is boring. So let's go to the second threshold. Let's go to the next. Let's go to the next power of two. Okay, so I'm at the so I'm at the second threshold. Actually, my axe coordinates are actually above it, but you know what I mean. The jitter is is higher than it than it was at the last threshold. Let's go to the next one. Off camera, of course. At this threshold, jitter becomes extremely obvious. And it actually starts to become unbearable while traveling the world. And that's not good. Just look at that jitter. Annoying. Let's let's make the jitter even bigger. Ugh. Okay, so now moving diagonally is horrible. And it's completely impossible to diagonally sneak. But it is possible to dia to diagonally walk. But I only walking looks just so stupid. Yeah, what's going on with this world? Ugh, let's go to the next threshold. Can't wait to, to see what happens here. Ugh, from, from the next power up to and on, jitter is, mo movement jitter is completely horrible. Look at this! Jitter, 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 jitter all the way. And I'm gonna make a tiger biome. Those biomes are rare. Hooray me! You can see some course dirt here. Clouds all. Giant trees. Yeah, this biome's awesome. Anyways, enough of my rambling about mega tigers and. Oh, there's mossy stone boulders. Let's just get in. Let's just go to the next threshold. From from the next power of two and on, it becomes completely impossible to walk, and flying will 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 be a stuttery mess. Ugh. Ugh. 
much to do in the next threshold, so let's go to the front lines. Oh, and also the sky grids. Get ready for it. Ready for it? The Furlands! It's the Furlands! Yeah, the Furlands! Yeah, this massive block. Blorky, blorky, dorky, dork. I have no idea why I just said that. Let's go right here. Also, I didn't mention that you could fall through blocks here. Okay, enough falling through blocks. Just let us be faster. Ugh. Let's go to the sky grid! Welcome to the sky grid. Yes, it's a natural sky grid of Minecraft. So this is proof that you don't need need a special Minecraft map in order to see a sky grid. Well, I was gonna discuss the strip lines, but I don't. Let's just end this video. You can check out the strip lines and some other videos. Here's up the strip lines on YouTube, I guess.